and uh, rolling. Up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the picky. And the thumb. And to the wrist. And Susanna Richard, good morning. And across the knuckles. And we will put the ball into the palm, interlace the fingers, and squeeze. And release, and squeeze. And release, squeeze one more time. And release, let's throw them all up in the air. Step on the ball right in the middle of the foot of the little Alaska three times. Up to the knuckles, press on once going across. Roll across the knuckle. Bring the ball to the top of the heel, put it on the toes, and roll it across the top of the heel. Heel. Rest down, just under the first metatarsal, first knuckle, actually. Side of the top of the heel. And the middle. The fifth metatarsal. Roll down the bones. And scribble. Three. Two, one, release, reassess. And go to the end of the foot, same thing, three times. Knuckles. Rolling across the top of the heel. Pressing in the three spots. Rolling. And scribbling. Two, one, release, reassess, get the ball out of the way, and shake the tree.
three, two, one, release, and center. Twist at the waist, swing the arm. And center. I'm going to do the Michael Wynn energy grounding exercise. So, <clears throat> hands are going up and down the front of the spine. We're shifting weight from the left foot to the right foot and back again. Coming up on our toes as we put the weight on that side. And then back on the heels, come down. Spinning our hands. And going right into a walk, march, or jog. It's the McGill Big Three today. No rapid squats, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Get the heart rate going. Of course, you can keep doing what you're doing here. Whatever you do, sprint, side dance, hops, or something in your own choosing to get your heart rate going, just be safe. You want to do it in five, four, three, two, one. That's ten. Twenty. And thirty. Two deep breaths. Interlace the fingers. Raise the hands up. Come up on your toes if you can. Back down. Bend back if you can. Back to center and to one side. And then the other. Back to center, lower your hands. Push out of the chest. Come on down, interlace the fingers behind, raise the hands up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Go a little higher if you can. Come on down and shrug. Roll back. Mm 
roll forward. Pull the W, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. Release, squeeze, release, squeeze, and release. Extend the arms and tap the shoulders. Give yourself a bear hug, one arm on top. Exhale, extend, and then do it again with the other arm on top. One more set. Extend the arms and rotate. Reverse. Thumbs up, thumbs down. One behind the back, person down in. Then the other. Well, both elbows rock side to side. Come on down, we'll rotate the neck. Switch direction. Nod. Go ear to shoulder. Tuck in your chin and back. Like a pigeon. Look up. Look down. Put the one side. And then the other. To a side lunge. Other way. Now let's grab the stick. I'm going to put it behind the leg, which will come forward and just bend into it. Stretching that hamstring. Changing at the waist. Keep your head back. Come on up, stick behind the other leg. Just forward, 
Is it the waste? And come on up. Press the sole of the foot into the stick. And then the other. And then bring the stick behind the back parallel to the spine and move it up and down. Switch the position on the hands. Bring the stick up overhead, move it back and forth. And then now to the shoulders with the palms facing in. And we'll do 10 bicep curls. Reverse the position of the palms, keep the stick below the waist, hinge at the waist, bring the stick down, and stand up straight, hinge again, do this 10 times. And then hinge again, keep the stick down there and lift the elbows up past the rib cage 10 times. Come on up, stick is at the shoulders, raise it up overhead. And then below the waist again, and raise the elbows up to the shoulders. Keep it at the shoulders and push out. And then bring it behind the back with the palms facing away from the body and raise the stick back. And switch the position of the hands so the palms are facing towards the body 
can again raise it behind you 10 times. And then put it in the crook of the elbows and twist at the waist. Bring the stick to one side, hand on the top or near the top and swing it behind 10 times. And then the other arm. And then bring stick in front, hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two up on your toes. Heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. Toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. Toes, heels, and toes. And come on down, stick away. I'm gonna do the McGill big three. I shall meet you on the floor. I'm gonna start on our backs. Sole of one foot is on the floor, the other leg is extended. Hands are either by your side with the palms down under the small of your back if you need support on the lower back or under your skull if you need support at the neck. We're gonna come up to off the floor, head, neck, and shoulders only enough to clear the floor and hold for 10 and then come down and switch the position of the legs. Ready, here we go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down and switch. One, switch down and switch up. Down and switch, up. Down, switch, last round. Down. One more. And down. Take a couple of breaths. Most of us are going to get on all fours and we're going to do bird dogs. 
But if you have trouble on your knees, the legs are in 90 degree position, hands are up in the air. When I say left foot, left hand, right foot, extend them this way and come back. And this way for left foot, right hand. But if you can be on your knees, let's do bird dogs. On all fours, we're going to extend the left hand and right foot for 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back. You can only do one limb. Just do that and alternate. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and down. The left hand, right foot again, two. Ten and down, right hand, left foot. Down, left hand, right foot. And right hand, left foot. And down. Pull over on the side. There is some side lunges. So you can do these on your knee, or you can do them on your toes or on the uh, feet side of your feet with one stacked on top of the other or one in front of the other. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds. We're gonna do three on the side and do three on the other. Here we go. One, two. Nine, 10 and down. And up, one. And down and up. And down. Other side. Up. And down, and up. And down, and the last one, up. And down. Come around, we'll sit down and do our breathing exercises seated. This is Stephen Coe's second energizing breath this week. So last week we did the first, which resulted in nostril breathing. The second is turtle, rapid turtle breathing. So we're gonna exhale with our tongue loose and then and bring our head down. Then we're going to inhale and bring it back with the tongue on the palate. And we're going to do seven of those rapidly. Stop, take two regular breaths, do it again seven times, stop, two breaths, and one more round of seven. Okay, so tongue is loose. We're coming down, exhaling. And then two regular breaths. And then rabbit turtle. And 
the regular. And one more round. And two regular. And we'll get up. We're rubbing our hands together and cultivating chi. Holding that chi ball and letting it move it. Move us around. Weight shifting from one leg to the other, like water flowing. And then centering. Two breaths. And let us open our hearts. Pause and exhale to send it out. Center, two breaths. And bring down heavenly chi. Go down, scoop it up. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Hey, you're welcome, Mira. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. I will. Thanks, Tom. All right, Nina. Have a great graduation there. Thanks. You're welcome. It is um, Yin Yoga for. Bye bye, Don. Bye. Bye bye. Take care. Uh, yeah. Yin Yoga. Today's quote. I'll be able to stay for a little while. But... Good. Okay. Whatever. The little things, the little moments, they aren't little, said uh, John Cabot Zinn. So, as little as you can spend, they aren't little. Uh, discover timer start 15. All right, I'll meet you on the floor in that position. And it's cat. Well, 
Thank you. Ouais, bon, bon. Thank you. 
Please forget. Thank you. 